one more problem. This one gives us the same inequalities, but it asks one time for us to find the union with the word or, and the second time to find the intersection with the word and. If we look at the first inequality, n minus 6 is greater than 1, and we add 6 to both sides, we get n is greater than 7. If we take a look at the second one, which is 3 fourths n is greater than or equal to 6, and we clear the fraction by multiplying through by 4 thirds on each side, we will then have n is greater than or equal to 8. So we have two different sets here. One of them is an open circle at 7 with all values to the right shaded. The other one is a solid circle at 8 with all values to the right shaded. And in part A, we are asked to find one or the other, which refers to their union. And so the answer to A will be the set of all n values such that n is greater than 7. And in part B, where we are finding their intersection, this will be the set of all n's such that n is greater than or equal to 8. Now let's write each of these in interval notation. For part A, we will have the interval from 7 to infinity. And in part B, from 8, which we include, denoted by the open bracket, up to positive infinity. Let's solve this next inequality. It is a compound inequality. Technically, we have the left side, negative 6, is less than or equal to negative 3x plus 9, and the, ne the middle, negative 3x plus 9, is less than 0. But instead of writing it as two inequalities joined by and, we write it as this compound inequality. And we basically can solve each at the same time by, in this case, subtracting 9 in all three parts. This gives us negative 15 is less than or equal to negative 3x is less than negative 9. And then we want to divide all three parts by negative 3. But whenever we divide by a negative, we need to change the direction of those inequalities. And so now we have 5 is greater than or equal to x is greater than 3. Now we don't like writing inequalities from large to small, so I'm going to rearrange this again so that we have the 3 on the left is less than x is less than or equal to 5. Now we want to do three things with this solution. We want to graph it. That will give us an open circle at 3, a filled-in circle at 5, and the interval between them shaded. Um, three things. I think we only have to do two things. And in interval notation, we are going to write this as the interval from 3 to 5 inclusive of the right-hand endpoint. In this next problem, we're dealing with a gymnast who needs to get an overall score of at least 37. And the question is, what should she get on the next competition to ensure that she gets these 37 points on the average? So we are going to look at what she currently has. 36 plus 36.9 plus 37.1 plus 37.4. She currently has 147.4 points. Now, if we wanted to know her current average, we would just divide that 147.4 by 4. But instead, we want to take this 147.4, we want to add in some unknown score for the next competition, at which point she will have 5 scores. We will divide that by 5 and make sure that she then has at least 37 points altogether. At least turns into a greater than or equal to symbol. We now can solve this by multiplying through by 5 on each side. 
we then have 147.4 plus x on the left is greater than or equal to 185. And subtracting the 147.4 off of each side, we then have x is greater than or equal to 37.6. So basically, this says that she needs 37.6 or higher at the next competition.